Hey you folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. We are a kobold, apparently quickloader is currently our title over here. We're, you know, kobold range type person with a crossbow, following Okuwaru, and gonna use some magic and things like that. Should be a fun run. I don't know, we did have like, uh, one fail, uh, <laughs> run, uh, so far, but... We're actually about the same amount of turns, I think, as the last one I've just realized. And we've had to avoid quite a few difficult situations so far to to survive. A uh, howler monkey. Wait. Oh, it's a skeleton! Okay, that's fine. So you're not actually going to shout. Um, because you can draw a lot of things. We'll be blocked by a granite statue. That's kind of annoying. So that's still going to be blocked. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. All right, good. Bum, 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 pick all that stuff up. So we're in dungeon level 7. Uh, we haven't found any branches other than the temple. And we've left some things behind. Now, how f confident are we that we can take an ogre at this point? I think fairly. Open with a shot, because in theory it can't miss. But Oh, it hit but didn't do any damage. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Accepts our kill. We reach the skill training target of 5 for our hexes. Um, we are at crossbow skill 9. We're going to be stopping that at 10. We also looked like we found our first wand. Which is good. Uh, what is a rune spear? Yeah, well, we're not going to be taking that route. Another fear scroll. Very handy. There's the altar of Trog. I'm just wondering where those were. We got some money... We found some shops. Okay, this is probably a gang of orcs. And this is not a great place to fight them. Um, so instead of hitting the down key, I hit the up key. Because I am still playing on my laptop and everything is positioned wrong. And horrible things are now happening. Uh, so we've got the blink ability and things. Now right now that wouldn't be helpful. I think what we're going to do is go up here. Now, I'd appreciate if we... That's how stealthy we are. This guy totally did not even see us. We're going to go through here. Now, I think there's no no dangers in this level. Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. And then we'll just go back down. And that's going to be okay. Uh, oh, there's a block line of sight issue thing going on here. How about now? Nope. Okay, got you. Uh, oh, there's the rest of the crowd. Let's just drag some of them up here. Hell, we might be able to get... No, no kill first. Got you. Excellent. Rest. Grab that. And we'll just go down another staircase. And that's it. We're just going to keep kind of alternating here. That is... Oh, it's a vampiric whip. Yeah, we're not really looking to do that. An electric whip would be fun. I don't know if it would be worth... Well, it might be worth uh, scaling up the uh, the weapons. Um, is there someone around? Oh, no, no. We were just still going through corpse piles and chopping things up. Excellent. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh, phantom over there. I will shoot it. I will debuff it. It's going to blink around a bunch. But it's not in any way a threat. Neither are you. Um... And you know, we're feeling pretty good about this guy. It's kind of annoying when they do that. Oh, he resisted that. So I'm going to blink. That's not as far as I'd want. And we failed to slow him. And again. And again. There, okay. Now he's slowed. I'm not sure I like this setup. I think we're going to look to reset this by going up into stairs. So I don't know if having more spell power helps you overcome magic resistance more. I think it might. And yeah, that's not... Well, none of the stairs are very far, but... Might still work out. So far, so good. So we've got gloves. I mean, they're not magic or anything, but that's going to be okay. Black bears can be extremely dangerous. 27 hit points, bites for 9, and claw twice, so it's like 19 damage per... Again, we don't have a ton of hit points here. As a kobold, it'd be great to poison 
I think what I'll do is I'll open with a slow, which he resists. I mean, it's 50% chance, but good god. I wonder if the, like, the duration of the slow also um, gets affected by spell power. It's actually something I don't know for these. And it seems like a mechanic I should probably figure out. And we're not fighting you at the same time. Or maybe you are. We're going to drag you up the stairs, apparently. Now, I can blink away from this guy. There you go. Okay. Look at us. We're like a red imp or a, one of the phantoms or something. Oh, hello. Okay. That, woof. That's a lot of fails there. We're going to go up the stairs, rest, and go down a different stair. And in theory, you are not very far away from here. Boom. Okay. Yeah, I might not... Bo At this point, I think Corona is just done. Um, while my failure chance for it is very low, it still is resistible. And I think it's I'm better off just taking the time to shoot. I think Corona is just finished. Boom. See, I could have spent like a bunch of turns trying to hex him there. And that would have been no good. So you're accepting my kill... We're getting skill ups. We're picking up our bolts over here. That's a scroll of fog, I think. Uh, we're going to want to move right up to you. Like that. Because then you'll just try to melee us, which is far less dangerous than you shooting us with your bow. Uh, uncursed enchanted short bow. Plus four. We're not going to use it now. In fact, I'll probably just... I don't know if I'll drop it. We'll hold on to it for now. But, I mean, we don't have the skill. Still, plus four is pretty nice. Um, and then it gives us an alternative if we start to run low on stuff. Okay. Uh, what wand? Did we not pick up a wand earlier? Yeah, right here. Disintegration. Okay. Now, Disintegration Wand is insanely powerful, but not super strong unless you start getting Evocation. Now, we've got a bunch of limiters on this. They're about to fade off. I think what we do is we do train up Evocation, for sure. Not necessarily focus. This is about to finish, though. I'm going to turn Fighting and Dodging back on. Fighting for the hit points. Dodging for the not getting hit points. Check down here. Here, okay. Work our way over this way. Okay. Yeah, we, we're going to forget Corona soon. Is there something else we'd like to learn right now? We might want to consider picking up something like Portal Projectile. Uh, this guy can do a lot of Acid Splash damage. I mean, you're asleep right now. Okay, good. You're not you're not that tough. It just becomes problematic. So this guy here, you like you don't have piety. You like spend money or something like that to get. I, I've never used him. One day I'll have to run into him a little sooner. I think this priest is mostly alone. Not necessarily literally alone, but probably mostly alone at this point. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, no, two priests. That is less good because that can be a lot of smiting. Going down. Okay. Mm, you can be very dangerous as well. I wonder if I can... So you you had a hint that I was around. Let me just avoid you, get you to forget about us. Good. Excellent. Uh, I don't have any... Ooh, Maurice. Maurice. You like to steal some of my stuff. You can go invisible. That's still a good use for Corona, actually. Uh, damage plus dagger to steal items. Extremely dangerous. You've got the EV, but not that much AC. We've got a blink, a teleport. I feel like we can take this guy. I'm going to open up on him. If he goes invisible, I resisted paralysis. Where'd you go, you punk? There you are. 
spam. Uh, we can now gain great but temporary skills. Right, so we have heroism over here, which is excellent for that. Is it what, like plus five to all your combat-related skills temporarily? It's pretty good. Uh, that's not going to be a better cloak, so that's going to be okay. Die. Excellent. I don't know if there's like special types of bolts or they're all the same all the time. I have no idea. We've reached level 10. And ogre. Yeah, we feel like we can take ogres. Boom. Fighting crossbows now level 10. Dodging goes up as well. 56 hit points. We still don't have a ton of hit points. That's still going to be our weakness overall. But our damage capability is pretty good. Our bolt count is going down. But again, Oku is going to, or Oka, is going to help to give us that. We have a unidentified potion. Potions of mutation. Now, they can actually be quite fun. Because they've changed the way this works. This will give you, um, I think it's two to four mutations, and at least one of them is guaranteed to be beneficial. And the thing is, when you drink this potion, it removes mutations as well. So you can sort of cycle and reset your potion, your mutations. Uh, we'll probably do something like that. We'll probably wait until we've got a few more of these potions. Psyche, the insane mage. You've got a dagger of distortion, so you can do all sorts of really terrible teleportation to me. Throw frost, haste, magic dart, invisibility. Well, I definitely don't want you to engage you while there's someone around. I'm hoping I didn't make enough noise to wake you up with this combat. There's a bunch of bolts. Excellent. We were really not hurting for ammo. Maybe I could have gone with a different god. On the other hand, god gifts are nice. Oka doesn't have, like, super mega late game potential, but if we're just going for a three run, three rune run, which is very likely, it's not so bad. We're going to close that door. And hopefully it creaks loudly. Of course it does. So let's not go down, because if we bring anyone up and there's a fight, that would be bad. I wonder if door creaking is just a randomized thing. What is this? Uh, sleeping ogre. Well, let's move. Oh, you're already awake. Let's get out of the water. Um, I Being in the water doesn't affect range combat, I think. Melee combat, you have a chance to miss in the water. So let's hope that he's just less skillful there. Rest, open this door, and find... An altar. Okay. Scroll TP. Good. Another one. Wow. Okay. Lots of emergency buttons. There's still that orc warrior kicking around. Um, this staircase. Was it fine? Yeah. Okay. What are the chances that it can paralyze this guy? 51%. There we go. Zap, 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 zap. He's tough as hell. But that worked out pretty well. Um, hey, it rhymes. Um, yeah, we don't care about the wand of random effects. But yeah, that's. I, I think evocation stuff is going to start to do really, really good things for us. Oh, we got a scroll. That might be magic mapping. We'll wait until the next level. Could be acquirement. All right, Gastronok, you summon a bunch of dudes, don't you? You can bite for up to 40. Airstrike, slow. You could slow me and summon small mammals. You're a little close. He is na very, he's naturally very, very, very slow. If he slows me... Ow! I guess that would be the airstrike. Holy shitballs. Okay, I don't like that we're going into a hallway we haven't uh, fully scouted yet, but it looks like it was fine. Uh, Ice Beast bad. The stealth is paying off, though. Let's rest up here. We got some stairs there. Might just be a time for us to go down. Because, yeah, Gastronok and Psyche. Again, good XP, but someone is invisible. Where are you? There. No. There you are. Zap A here. What the heck? 
I'm going to activate teleportation. It'll teleport me somewhere random. This is fast. This must be the Unseen Beast. I know they're really quick. Can I do like a Fearsome Visage or something? I mean, the TP might just trigger any time now. Fear. I'm going to read this. Oh, vulnerability. I don't think that's going to kill us, but this might, though. Um, soldier ant. That's really bad. We are susceptible to poison, but we're not really poisoning. We've got a few wands. I kind of feel like we might just do a second teleport here. Oh my god. And we might move into someone else, too. Even a teleport might be a little over eager. I guess I had my own blinking as well. Okay, I'm going to trigger this. I'm going to drink the heal wounds. I guess casting blink won't be that helpful because it's got just as much of a chance right now of sending me closer to someone. Okay. Not as far away from this guy as we might have liked. How dodgy are you? You're not that much. 33 HP. Paralysis? Okay. Boom. Stealth level 8, which is our cap. Um, so what are we training right now? Evocations. I think that's going to be great for us. We train it quickly, and our wands can do crazy good stuff. Fighting and dodging, that's going to be very important. I think that's good for now. We could, like, pre-train a little bows or slings or something. No, that's going to be okay. A little bit of armor training, actually, is probably good. Our base armor right now is very low. You get two from here. One, uh, one base armor, so that's a four. So, yeah, we don't, have, we don't have boots yet for the five. And then there's still the idea of do we replace the robes. If we take a look at armor that we've found... Uh, oh, there's a pair of boots for sale in a shop. We could just pick that up. I mean, they're probably not magical. And we found no real magical armor. Like, that's kind of sucky. I feel that we probably should learn Mythetic Cloud. It's going to be a really, really strong thing. So, yes, we will. And so that means we're going to have to learn Conjuration and Poison Magic. Now, I don't know how high this will do. We'll, we'll turn both of these on because, again, the low levels are cheapest. And it's going to be the addition of these two together that qualifies your success. So we'll see how our failure rate starts to progress and then decide when to start ca capping them here. Um, I'm a little nervous about going this way. That's eight bolts, though. I mean, I guess I have a few. Oh, right. My auto pickup is off because of the Invis creature, which is still on this floor. Okay, we got an upstairs. Let's peek down. Two-headed ogre is pretty dangerous because he attacks twice at a time. Well, we're going to have to find another downstairs. Not one that's got two-headed ogre guarding it. Uh, that's a lot of cobalt shit, but... I mean, they're only cobalts. I mean, I'm a cobalt too, but I'm like the king of all cobalts. A lot of stones. Lots of teleportation. More stones. Uh, oops, wrong button. Whack. There's a large cobalt. That's fine too. Another large cobalt over here. Evocation goes up. We will be very curious to see what's down here. Nothing threatening, which is nice. Enchant weapon. I'd like to find some sort of branded weapon to start enchanting. Or if we can find the next tier of crossbows, that would also be nice. We haven't found an arbalest, right? Or whatever it's called. Archibest. Definitely starts with AR. Wow! Okay, that's too many things. Uh, I don't think we have. If it's only two wizards we can do this, you know what I think is going to happen? We're going to start with an ice blast. 
Yeah, just like that. Um, can I Ice Blast right here? No, but I can put it here. Boom, 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 boom. XP, XP. All right. It's nice that, I don't know, in Trunk, the, the wands are all auto-ID'd now. Uh, you're packing a spiked club, which might make you more dangerous than usual. We'll see if we can start off with a paralysis. Okay, that did not work. I think it's still worth going for it, because it's 50-50 land. There we go. And those are odds I can tolerate. Now that guy, those, those jellies can be pretty dangerous. They're acid stuff, but they're squishy enough. So as long as you don't start getting horribly corroded. What am I doing? I don't have missile resistance or anything like that, so we're going to let him do this, move up so he manlies us while we continue to crossbow him. If only he knew that you could still go and use your ranged weapons in melee range, then he'd be a lot scarier. So apparently we saw the staircase. Oh, from over there. I see. Yeah. Okay. That's... Okay, these are pretty... They're not very dangerous. I could use some AoE, but... They're really not threatening. These are very early types of critters. Interesting that there's a whole room full of them. Is there like a... Okay, I didn't know if there was like a slime god. Okay. <sighs> this fucking invis thing. Yeah, it must be... Oh, we do have a ring over here. If I just try to make a run for this... There you are, you son of a bitch. Ow. Okay, unseen her. No, I didn't want. I'm. So I'm using a trackpad here, not an actual mouse. So sometimes it doesn't interpret my uh, my click. It's extremely fast. Extremely dangerous. Yeah, we're not we're not defeating this. We are once again going to teleport. And. Okay. And we're going down and leaving that level. Because screw that shit. Screw that shit. Come over here. I mean, those these things are t doable. Oh, uh, auto pickup is off. Because we were fighting an invis thing. What is this? Bullfrog Simulacrum. Which is sort of a frosty version of the regular. I think that's okay. There's some more stuff going on there, though. Which is interesting. So what are we? Dungeon level 10. So, lair is anywhere between 8 and 11. Do I want to peek down here? There's a hornet nest. And I don't have any R poison. Awesome. We are going to try on this robe. Okay, plus zero robe of magic resistance. Well, that's better. Do I just enchant this one? I'm very tempted to do that. Centaur Warrior Simulacrum. Susceptible to fire. Do we have a fire wand? We don't, somehow. They're super common. 30 HP. You know what? I think we can just go and get murdered in the face. That is not a helpful move. Sixteen HP. Eight plus its axe. Ugh, fine. I will drink the potion I don't actually have anymore. Oh crap. I thought I had a Heal Wounds Potion, but apparently I don't. Now, this was not safe. <sighs> I forgot there was a wasp there. I should have just kept blinking, kept moving away. I sure as hell misjudged how much damage I was taking from that Simulacrum. God damn it. Better. Yeah, you can see my other runs. A lot of these just, like, 
or ending early. I'm like trying different skill things and then just like running into something because for some reason Control Q doesn't work on my keyboard, like to quit the game. I haven't figured out why on my Mac why I can't Control Q to just like abandon a run. It's very weird. Very weird. But I've had some good runs with these possibilities, these combos, but... Arr! Next time. Next time for sure. Thanks for watching. See you then.